Hi everyone, it's Tammy, and I feel like it's been a little while since I've done any other crafting, but this book, it's really not taken me that long. Um, I'm trying to think of when I started it. It was on Sunday, I believe, and it's Tuesday now, and I worked a lot of Sunday on it. I probably think this took maybe, I don't know, six hours to do or something like that. I don't know. I could be a little off. I should probably record and see how long it takes to do some things like that. But I made the whole album. This is thanks to a monthly kit that I ordered from Country Craft Creations. It is a beautiful, really cool paper. The paper's from Doodlebug. It's called Booze and Brews. The UPS man is here. So he might be delivering something. I'm going to pause. Yes, indeed, he was delivering something for my husband. So, um, it's called Booze and Brews. So, B-O-O-S. Sorry, he has a loud truck. B-O-O-S, B-R-E-W-S. I have my window open because it's 70 degrees today and it's just gorgeous outside. So, I have the air off and the windows open and... It's nice. Um, and there is someone on their team who goes by LMS Crafty Creations who like went through how she made this album because I guess that they like all figure out how they're going to do it. And I don't really understand. This is my first month. But you can get a monthly subscription to Country Craft Creations and every month you are able to then make an album with the fun stuff they send you. Now you do have to supply your own, oh goodness, what did I use? My own chipboard, my own uh, cardstock, it, minus the designer cardstock, but like all of the plain, uh, you know, orange, black, cardstock, gray, all of that was mine. They did give me in the kit the gemstones, this pretty velvet ribbon, the this ribbon, the little charm, the flowers, these little gemstones, uh, so and all of the designer series paper that you see so I mean you do get quite a bit in your album as well so let me just go ahead and do a little walkthrough and I will try to remember to link all of the information below so if you're interested you can do it too Now mine isn't exactly like hers but it is very close but over here we have a pocket and it says everything's better with a little magic and then I put these little cards in here monster mash stardust cat whiskers Eye of Newt and Moonbeams. So they're kind of like little bottle, uh, potion bottle titles or whatever. Uh, I did distress a lot of the pages with some Tim Holtz black soot ink, but it's just kind of fun. I did use magnets on some of the pages. I used a magnet on this page to kind of help hold this closed. This was on one of the pages. I just cut this down and matted it on black and then added it to this fun flip out. So all of the the book, like the basic book, I did make, but I followed a tutorial from LM's Crafty Creations and I used exactly what she told us to do. There's one page I noticed mine was a little different than hers. I think I just turned it the other way, but it's not a big deal. Um, there are six pages in this book and she teaches you how to make the whole thing. So I'm not going to do that. I will eventually teach you guys how to make an album, but um, for this particular one, I just kind of wanted to show off the album just because it's so stinking cute. And if I can make it, you guys can make it. So anyway, back to here, I have the magnet holding this and it opens and then this opens and this is just a little, oh, this one's just a, you know, holds a picture or some journaling. There's some stickers on here. That is just a piece of uh, designer series paper that I cut to look like that. These are some stickers that came in the kit. This is a little October 31st, just a photo mat or whatever you want to do on the back. I was thinking a photo and I'm, I don't know, I'm thinking, you know, I can fill this in with a lot of photos. Each one of these pages has a pullout with a mat for pictures. The album by itself is a six and a half or six by six. These I think are five and a quarter by five and a quarter. 
could be five and a half by five and a half. I don't exactly remember, but all of the dimensions and everything are in her instructions. Over here, this is a little pocket. You can pull out this and it says toad warts on it. And then you can open it up and put more pictures on the inside. So it's just a little pocket. It says trick or treat. This was one of the stickers. You can open it this way. You can open it this way. And then there's another little book here that you can put pictures in. And this was one of the pictures on one of the paper. I think it's super cute. This was a picture, or this was on the paper. I just cut that out of the paper, added some gemstones. This is the paper. I love the eyeballs. Um, it's double-sided paper, so you can pick whatever size, size you want to use. This was one of the four by six in the paper. I think that's really cute. And then I added some gemstones to that, just like she had done. And here's a just a photo mat. And then I added that paper behind here. And again, here's another photo mat. And then over here we have, I love this paper. It's my favorite. But you can open it this way. And then you can open it again this way. And then you can open it this way and this way. So it's got lots of room for lots of fun pictures. Again, I love this paper, so that's cute to me. I didn't put a magnet on this one. She did not, so I did not. Um... I kind of just followed her instructions and tried to do what she did. This was one of the four by sixes, little rhinestones or gemstones on their eyes. This opens and then this is a pocket and I put some more of these little things in the pocket and then here's another photo place. I don't think this is very straight, but it feels so good. And it's hard to move it after it's been put down, so I'm just leaving it. But it really does feel nice. It's so velvety. And then this is another little book. I put this paper on here, and I put a little sticker that is a spider, so it just fits over those. But you can kind of see how it's shiny comparatively. And I don't remember how she decorated hers. I know mine's a little different. We did use different paper in some of the spots, but for the most part... I followed what she did. Um, there is, you know, my own ideas throughout, but she, like, she used this paper here and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's, it was definitely cased, but, I mean, it's, I, that's why she gives you a whole tutorial, because she wants you to do it. And this is cute. This is one of the papers. It says Eek. Added some gemstones. You can open it this way. This is a little pocket here, and I put a bunch of little thingies in here and you could use these as a journaling page or as a photo page or just something fun to just kind of look at which is what I kind of think it's and you can put them however you want and then here's this and this is just a sticker you can open this one up and another stickers and then turn it here these are stickers this is just you open this up Halloween night and I put this as Halloween here and you could put a picture there. Use it as a photo mat. And again, we have a pullout. And then here, this is fun. It says Halloween is Starry Night, Witch's Flight, Jack-O-Lantern Shining Bright. I added a couple gemstones there. You can open up this page, a couple stickers, open up this page, and it's a pocket. So this is a side pocket, and it has this cute paper behind it and then that paper and then I have three different kinds of paper here all of them are just straight on the back so that you can add your pictures or journaling or whatever you feel like you want and then this one I have another uh, magnet on this but I think these are really cute together and I think this is the page that I screwed up but I think it looks great and nobody will ever know and this is velvet gemstones I love these two together. I think I just said that. Open that up. Open this up. This is a banner or a belly belt or whatever they call those. So it's a October 31st. This was one of the 4x6 cards. Just cut it down to size. Have a couple journaling cards or photo mats if you want to use those. I may actually add another one, but I don't know. Um, and then, you know, you have room for fun in here if you want to add something you can. I did two pieces of cardstock here. This was just one of the uh, pages that had just lots of little words everywhere and I thought the boo was cute so I can just close those and again it sticks with a magnet and then again you have your pull out here and I did my pull out with 
different colors sometimes. So whatever came about, came about. So then here's this one. I did not put a magnet. I almost wish I would have because every time I've opened it now, it opens like this and I really want it to open like this because I think that's super cute. But, um, I, it's probably too late to add a magnet unless I add something else, but just fun. I added a little Rick Rack sticker here. Um, I liked the contrast between the two plaids to have something else in there. So that's what that is. I love this. It was just on one of the cardstock. This was a sticker. So I just put that on regular cardstock. This is a pocket. And you can open this. So that's nothing. And then this, I put some of the spiders on this page too. And then this is another photo mat. That's a sticker. And then here's another pullout. And then here's this page. Now this does have magnets and little rhinestones. You can open this up. This has little spiders. And then you can pull this out. It's a little pocket for photos or journaling. And then here's another little pocket. And it has just a couple. I almost thought this had three. Oh, I think I was putting this one in there too. I was like, wait a minute. I think I had that one in there too. And then this one I just had back there. Now all of a sudden I can't get it in straight. No, I've got to go in straight. There it goes. And then um, over here we have a pocket in this page. Memories to last a lifetime. I put a little sticker there. This is the back page. This opens this way. This opens this this kind of bugs me. She had something like this. It makes me feel like I should be able to pull this out, but I did stick it down all the way so that you can't, but it makes me feel like I should be able to pull that out and I can't. So that kind of bugs me, but that's the only thing so far. This is the periodic table. I thought that was kind of cute. So I wanted to include that in my album. So I just made it into a little book. And then I have this page and this page, just fun cardstock that you can put a picture on. I didn't want to put a backing because I liked both the sides. And then this does open up and then you can put some more pictures there. And this isn't held by a magnet either. It just seems to hold pretty well. And then this is the back side. And then this is the side. I just, they, they included this ribbon. So I just made a big, huge kind of a bow out of it and hot glued some of it down. And you know, that's all I did. And then made a bow here and put that little charm there. And this is a sticker. I just matted it and cut that out. And it says Mr. Or Dr. Frankenstein. So yeah, there's our album. Isn't that cute? And honestly, guys, if I can make it, you guys can make it too. I think that using Pampered, Pampered Chef, what am I? My brain is not with me. Using the Stampin' Up cardstock, it really was nice because, you know, it's all just nice cardstock and you can just cut it and just be done with it and it's super nice and you know that you're getting good quality product. I love our products, but I didn't have all of it. So like this, the black is ours, but the orange is not. So whenever I had to use just generic reflections brand cardstock or whatever, I would put it on a piece of Stampin' Up! cardstock just to make sure that it was stand up -y and worthy. Um, I think this is reflections to that black or that purple. I don't know, but yeah, it just turned out really cute. Six pages, lots of pictures. I don't even know how many pictures it will hold. Probably well more than I'll take this year. So I'll have maybe a couple years of Halloween stuff I can put in. Maybe even more since my kids are older. It's kind of a bummer. I just really liked the album and wanted to make it. It might be one that gets stored away until... I need it for some occasion, but um, I thought it was really cute and I needed to make it. So that's what I did. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.